Hi, welcome to Excel Video 232. I'm Nate Moore. Today I'm helping a group submit their survey data for MGMA survey, pulling it out fast and easy. If that would help you and your group, let's talk. I'm going to take a little bit different approach today. I deleted the uh, add, subtract, multiply, and divide stuff. And instead of kind of going through one menu or one function or one something in the ribbon, I want to do maybe a little bit of a comprehensive example over the next couple of Excel videos and see if maybe that approach helps as we try to put a few of the pieces together and use it in a practical application. So I still have my fee schedule. I have a code and a Medicare physician fee schedule, the average commercial reimbursement, what our, our clinic's fee schedule is, and then a volume of how many times we're doing this procedure over some time period. And what I want to do today is look at reimbursement. So if I knew Medicare reimbursement, it would just be equals the Medicare physician fee schedule and then times the volume and then we would do times let's say Medicare is 30 percent we could do that and get a number and say okay that's 30 percent the challenge with doing it that way is that can I copy this formula down you bet I can and that'll all work the problem is if I want to change it to 35 percent or what if it's 60 percent then I've got to go change each one of these formulas and change that point three so what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to come up here and say, let's say 45% of my business is Medicare. And I've formatted that. You could do the same with this percentage button right there. And then what I can do is instead of doing what I did before, I can take the Medicare physician fee schedule times the volume times, and then what we need to do here is choose the Medicare reimbursement rate and then we'll just reference this cell all the way down and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the F4 key so that when I copy the formula down I don't want to I, I, when I copy down I do want to go from B7 to B8 I do want to look at the volume from E7 to E8 but I don't want this 45 percent to change because I'm going to be looking at zero then I'm going to be looking at zero then I'm going to be looking at volume then I'm going to be multiplying by 334 I'll get way screwed up so this F4 key will lock in the E3 part of my formula. So when I copy it down, all of these things still reference B15 and E15, but they're all locked into E3. So now I've got this formula, and I think I'm close. The other thing I might do is get rid of the pennies, since this is um, a pretty big number. I'm not sure I'm too worried about the pennies there. And to do that, you can use the round function. There's a video on the round function, but all I'm going to do here is put round, and a left parenthesis, and then my formula comma and then I'm going to round to the nearest dollar and change that copy it down and then what we can do is we can come up and use this decrease decimal and that's pretty much what I want to do that is what I expect to get in Medicare reimbursement and what we could do here is come down here click the sum button and then I could come over here and put I like to use this one a top and then a double bottom border like that so I've got a pretty good Medicare reimbursement going. Let's do the same thing for commercial. Now I could do a commercial rate here and say, okay, if Medicare is 45%, I could make commercial 55% or I could make formulas that change. But really, for purposes of this analysis, if it's not a Medicare patient, you're a commercial patient. So if it's not 45%, it's 1 minus 45% or 55% is my number the, of, or my percentage maybe, I'll call it that of the volume that represents commercial patients. So what I can do is I can do equals round and what do I want to do? I want to take the average commercial reimbursement, multiply that by the volume for the CPT code, multiply that by the quantity 1 minus that and then I want to do comma 0. I'll leave that formula up there just for a second. So what am I doing? the average commercial reimbursement times the volume times the percentage of the volume that's not Medicare so one minus this is 55 percent which is going to allow me to get my commercial percentage and I'm going to round that to the nearest dollar and then I'm going to use the format painter here we'll copy that down we'll take this and we'll drag that across and we've got a pretty good analysis going here and the reason we do it this way and I, and I like to do this because then if my percentage of Medicare changes, I can just make this 0.6 and every formula on my spreadsheet changes. I can make it 0.3 and I can go back to 0.45 
and every formula changes because they're all referenced to one cell. I don't have to worry about updating a Medicare percentage and a commercial percentage, updating every single formula. It just makes life a lot easier to have it one place where the numbers change. And then a lot of times what I'll do is I'll take this and I'll say, all right, that number matters. So maybe what I'll do is I'll highlight it something like that to remind me, hey, this is the cell to change to make the whole rest of the analysis go. That's what I wanted to show you today, to put several pieces together, the format painter and round and multiplying and um, an absolute reference to keep E3 from moving on us. Kind of put it all together and start on a little analysis. We're going to do another analysis based on this data. We'll start that next time. Thanks for watching.